Tara, linis tignan na yun. What's up mga kuya? Welcome back to the channel. So, this is going to be our first tech-related video for 2021. So, this is the unboxing, uh, my first impressions, and short review na din of the Rock Galura. Plus, medyo overdue na video idea. So, pasensya nga pala. Plus, how to clean your PC. And if hindi naman kayo interesado sa unboxing nito, then etong timestamp kung gusto nyo mag-skip sa how to clean your PC. Yep, ganun akong kabait. Pero of course, if interesado kayo sa unboxing nito, then eto na kayo. So actually, medyo matagal ko na nakuha to eh. Matagal ko na din gustong i-unbox. Kaso gusto ko kasi kompleto ako ng release date and pricing. So eto na nga tayo, yung araw na yon. And actually, gusto ko din talagang unahin eh. Yung life lessons with Kuya Jello. So if you want to start off your 2021 of right mga kuya, then here are some things you need to know. Tama ba dito? Abustahin. So, ito nga yung pinakabagong case ni Rock Gear. So, let's unbox this and I'll tell you more about the Rock Galura. So, first off, the case is very heavy at uh, 8 kilograms. And as you can see naman, mga kuya, what I have with me is the black variant. So, this is also available in a white variant. So, we have a metal front panel which is mesh and I'm not sure if this has a dust filter. So, ito nga yung front panel. To remove it, you need to pull from the bottom. May slit dito. Uh, pull with a little bit of force. So, ayun nga. So, wala siyang dust filter as in mesh lang siya. And I'm assuming just based on this na... Uh, maganda yung airflow nito. A nice touch at the front panels are these glass panels. And ang maganda dito sa Rock Galura is meron na siyang pre-installed two 200mm fans at the front. So, and one 120mm fan at the back which is your exhaust. So, thumbs cruise yung side panel nito with the tempered glass. Unfortunately, mas preferred ko sana kung yung hinge type panel siya tulad nung nasa Rakalia. Pero, ayun. So, yeah, it's really spacious inside the Rock Galura. And one small detail that I really like actually is the thumb screws are attached to the uh, tempered glass side panel. So, you don't have to worry about losing them. And same goes for the right side panel. The thumb screws are also attached here. So, yeah, so it's really spacious here for cable management with 30 millimeters of clearance. And actually, make a hon dito sa baba. So inside this white box, in one of the uh, 3.5 millimeter base, so you have extra screws, uh, cable ties. I don't know what this is for. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this is a mounting bracket if you want to mount your GPU vertically. At the top, we have a magnetic dust filter, which is very nice. And at the bottom, we also have a dust filter for your power supply, which just slides out. So at the bottom we have a power supply shroud and the PCIe vertical brackets here if you want again to mount your GPU vertically. And other things you need to know about the Rock Galura. So this is made of uh, SPCC metal at 0.7 millimeters. So the case is 420 millimeters long, uh, 245 millimeters wide, and 475 millimeters tall. So this can fit from a mini ITX motherboard to a EATX motherboard. Two 3.5 inch drive base and two 2.5 inch drive base. You have 360 millimeters of GPU clearance, a max clearance of 180 millimeters for your CPU cooler. For liquid cooling, this has support for up to a 360 millimeter rad at the front and at the top and up to a 140 millimeter rad at the back. At the front, you can install up to two 200 millimeter fans or three 120 millimeter fans. And the fan blades of the Galura are magnetic by the way, so you can easily clean them very nice. At the top, up to three 120 millimeter fans. At the back, one 120 millimeter or one 140 millimeter fan. At the top, we have a clicky square power button, two USB 3s, two USB 2s, two 3.5 millimeter jacks for your mic and speaker out, a reset button and RGB button. At the bottom, we have these thumb screws and four more screws if you want to remove or adjust the position of the 3.5 inch dry base, and four feet with foam pads. This is how the lower part looks with about an inch of ground clearance. So now mga kuya, I'm going to transfer all the components of my PC inside the Rock Galura and show you how it looks up and running. A few moments later, so something to take note while building inside the Rock Galura is that you can't install your power supply through the side but you have to remove this mounting bracket then put in your power supply here and screw back the mounting bracket And the three included RGB fans inside the Rock Galura are actually using 4-pin PWM connectors and a RGB plug which doesn't go well with my CPU cooler which is also using those connectors. So unless you don't have anything else in your system that's using these connectors then you're going to need an RGB or a RGB hub and or converter depending on your needs. So I instead use my Rock Marix Pro for this. And yeah, looking good. 
Building inside the Rock Galura was easy and straightforward. It's really spacious with a lot of room for cable management. Yeah, I'm very sorry for my non-existent cable management. Instead of using rubber grommets, we have this vertical panel here where you route some of the cables. And also no rubber grommets at the bottom and top of the motherboard. And yeah, the only thing that I don't like about the Rock Galura or I guess part of it are the fans. So I really wish Rock Gears made the fan connectors the same ones as with the Rock Maris Pro so I can just use the RGB hub of the Maris Pro but oh well. And yeah, for the price of $3,695 for the white variant and $3,595 for the black variant, the Rock Galura offers good value. You get a solid build, really spacious inside, easy to build in with great airflow and honestly a stylish and minimalistic design. And 3 included RGB fans. So here we are with actually cleaning your desktop PC Makuya and it's fairly simple. I highly suggest you clean your PC every 6 months depending if you keep your room or wherever your PC is clean. The only thing you'll need really is a brush. I'm not sure what this brush is called, but yeah, this is what we're using. And an old towel or shirt or whatever you're not using on your body. Just simple things that you'll find at your house. So in my case, I'm only removing my memory and graphics card plus a box or something to put your screws in so you don't lose them. I highly suggest you remove your CPU cooler and repasting, but since I'm too lazy to do that, then I just left mine on for maybe a few more months before repasting. So you don't necessarily need compressed air when cleaning your PC plus they're kind of expensive per bottle or can. So it's really simple, use the brush to remove the dust buildup inside your PC and at the fans and wipe and collect the dust with the old towel or shirt. So it's better if you do this outside so you don't have to worry about getting your room dirty. So yeah, just brush up all the nooks and cranny of your PC. Clean the dust filter of your case if it has any. Also your power supply considering that the fan side is exposed and doesn't have a dust filter. In my case, my power supply is relatively clean so I don't need to clean it. Also I have an air cooler for my CPU cooler so I'm just going to brush of the fans and fins of the heatsink. Now, considering I haven't cleaned my PC in a whole year, wag nyo kong gagayahin, the dust buildup isn't bad, mainly because my case fans are running at low RPMs. As you can see from my graphics card, there's very little dust and dirt on it, so I'm just going to give it a quick brush and wipe. As for my memory, I'm just going to give it a good wipe, and it's optional, but it's better if you have WD-40, or in my case, this Hardex Contact Cleaner to spray on my components and give it a good shine and any unwanted shit on my PC. So yeah, once you're happy with how your PC looks then you're done. Again, optionally spray the insides and outside of your PC and wipe it down. So yeah, you now have a shiny boy. Honestly, ewan ko kung bakit ko ginagawa yung mga hand gestures na to, so ayun, pasensya. <laughs> And yeah, that's how you pretty much clean or at least that's how I clean my PC. Hopefully this was helpful. And yeah, that's it for my unboxing and short review of the Rock Galura and how to clean your PC. Special thanks of course to Rock Gears and EasyPC for sending this over for a review. Leave a comment if you have any, leave a like if you did, dislike if you feel like you have to, share this video, consider subscribing of course, and uh, turn on notifications to stay updated on my latest videos. The good stuff to support the channel, use my Shopee Lazada or Banggood affiliate link if you're buying anything from from them, like my Facebook page for live streams and other posts and updates that I don't post on YouTube. As always, stay safe mga kuya. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!